Hello, Days for Lives fans. This is for Wednesday, January the 10th. Paulina has been on a health kick ever since she was sick with her throat. She mixed up a green smoothie and Chanel told her, you're going to turn into a green goblin monster. Abe comes over with a couple of little chocolate donuts, but she tells him, no, you can't eat those and I'm not going to eat those. So he wants to watch their wedding video. They sit on the couch and watch that. It seems to bring them closer, but he doesn't seem to have any of his memories return. Stephanie is busy slithering around town. She has got her head so far up Everett's butt. It's disgusting. I'm sick of her character. I'm sick of her storyline. I think they're going to be writing her off pretty soon. Uh, anyway, she's hanging out with uh, Everett, and he has to go to work. Jada comes in and sits down and talks to her about their drunken night. And Chanel walks in. And, of course, there's you know awkwardness between Chanel and Jada because of Talia and her relationship. So, um... Uh, Teresa and Brady go to visit Tate, and he walks in with his head down, and you already know, there it is. He's got a shiner. He's had the crap beat out of him. They are frantic. Harris and the police department have caught a drug dealer. He sold a cop three bags of drugs. Everett says, let me talk to him. I can give him a shakedown. But Harris says, no, thanks. I want to keep my job. EJ and Nicole is still struggling. Nicole feels like God has deserted her. Brady shows up in his desperation and begs Nicole the police talk to EJ that his boy's been beat, and he believes him. He believes that he did. It wasn't his drugs. Nicole took offense to that. They had a real bad fight, and she said, so you think when my daughter was here abusing drugs, me and, me and EJ just was ignoring her, not knowing what's going on in our old house? How dare you? Get out of my house. She kicks him out. Uh, it's just so sad. He goes outside and leans up against the house. He's just devastated. He calls uh, Paulina again, last-ditch effort, begs her to fire EJ and tells her, you know, his boy's being beat, he's innocent. Then he has to go back to the jail and tell his son, I let you down, boy, I'm sorry. There's nothing I could do. Poor Brady, he is going to break. And that is a wrap for today, Wednesday.